Dobro večer. Dobrodošli u 24. izdanje TV specijala Danas konferenc centra na SOS kanalu. Portugalska delegacija, predvođena predsjednikom Privredne komore Portugala za Zapadni Balkan, posetila je Danas konferenc centar. Imamo prezentaciju jednog velikog stadiona sa kapacitetom od preko 107.000 sedećih mesta i analizu jednog od najvećih kompozitora koga imamo, o tome šta multifunkcionalni stadioni mogu značiti i za muzičku industriju u Srbiji. Dobrodošli u danas konferenc centar. Portugal je država koja je po mnogo čemu slična Srbiji i po ekonomskom razvoju i po problemima političke nestabilnosti. Nije čudo što jedan primer takve države koja je modernizovala svoje stadione i razvila svoju ekonomiju u tom procesu jeste veoma sličan onome što bi trebalo da se uradi i u Srbiji. Delegacija portugalskih privrednika posjetila je danas konferenc centar u ponedeljak 8. novembra. Pripremili smo kratki izveštaj sa uporednim intervjujima na ovu temu. The, the visit, and I will give the floor to the President of the Chamber of Commerce, is devoted to the launching of the Portugal West Balkans Chamber of, of Commerce. It is really a big endeavor that we hope will foster uh, the bilateral economic uh, and also commercial relations between uh, our two countries, and between Portugal and the region. An important dimension is that we are also bringing uh, in uh, the group of uh, companies that are accompanying uh, the President of the Chamber uh, the representatives of the consortium that already uh, were here in, uh, in Serbia before uh, working on sports facilities. They, they have uh, some very interesting plans uh, that could be extremely important uh, at this juncture for Serbia because you are at a turning point, uh, facing the need to uh, renew the sports facilities and also to curb violence and hooliganism that surrounds uh, sports in general and specifically football in Serbia. No, it's much more than sports and uh, we don't live anymore in times that, um, that we can only look uh, sectorial to the things. So, uh, Sport is part of a social uh, uh, entertainment program, it's part of a social involvement of people, and so you cannot look at it just as a strictly sports investment. It's much more than that, and uh, I think uh, the, the stadiums and the infrastructures have to live in the other days when you don't have uh, matches going on. So it's part of an urban program as well, of social integration and urban renewal of all the area where they, they are actually located. Well, um, Red Star was at the beginning, and at the moment we're waiting. Um, these big projects take a long time to, or longer time to, to get underway, so we are very patient. I think we have uh, big projects, it's a huge investment, um, so we're looking at a uh, medium-term investment. I mean, I think that's important, it's not something that happens overnight. And I think um, we're obviously interested in, in looking at other clubs. Uh, we've done a lot of proposals in other countries for small towns, uh, for example in Poland, a very small town near, actually near the Ukraine border, small club, but they were interested also uh, in, in renewing the, the stadium. You know, I think it's important to, to look at, uh, if you look at Red Start, I think it's a very ambitious, very exciting project, and really as an architect, I'm very excited about it. We're waiting for, obviously, for the feedback from the Red Star Club. I mean, I think they are interested. I was very, very uh, flattered to be at their celebration, 65 years, and to talk a bit about the club. So I think we're looking, we come, we come back, we're having more meetings. I think these things have, need to be discussed, sorted out. Um, and, uh, you know, as an Arctic, we have to be optimistic. So we're looking, we're looking very much uh, forward to meeting them again and to see how we can go f forward on, on these projects. Svuda u svetu najveći rok spektakli, koncerti, održavaju se na velikim multifunkcionalnim stadionima. 
Naš sagovornik koji će pokušati da osvetli tu vezu i u Srbiji jeste Kornelije Kovač, čovek koji je za sport vezan pored ostalog i tako što je kompozitor himne futbolskog kluba Partizan. Čovek koji je decenijama neko ko produkuje najveće hitove i čovek koji na jedan poseban način može osvetliti svu šarolikost uticaja moderne sportske infrastrukture na društveni život jedne zemlje. Sledi intervju na ovu temu.